In Minecraft, the chat is a fairly public place, so if I was to write something like, Hey John, doesn't Mumbo smell? Well, poor little Mumbo is going to get very self-conscious over his slightly musty armpits. But now, thanks to this rather large redstone contraption, you can send super secret encrypted messages to other players using shulker boxes and a handful of items. So the first thing that you have to do is actually create the message. So you have to place a shulker box on the last hopper, and then you have to go to the different letters and essentially use it like a keyboard. Now the message that I'm going to be writing is hello. Very simple little message right there. So of course I just have to press H-E-L-L-O, and that will send through all of the items from the system through into the shulker box. Now the good thing about shulker boxes is then of course we can actually pick up that shulker box and it will still have all of the items inside so we can travel over to our friend's base and just leave it there. And this is what the internals of the shulker box looks like. It's nothing too exciting, we just have five bits of wool. Any player walking past will see that and just go, it's a bit of a strange way to put items inside a shulker box but whatever, I'm just going to move on with my day. However, if we were to place the same shulker box on this system right here, and then hit this button, that will kick everything into action. And those items will start flowing into the system. So we should begin to see that we'll get ourselves an H, that is the first letter, and then we'll get ourselves an E, which is letter number two. Then eventually we will get ourselves an L, and then as I'm sure you can imagine, we will get ourselves another L, and then finally, hopefully, fingers crossed, we should get ourselves an O. Now, if we write down all of those letters, obviously, if you're sending a big message, you're going to have to get your notebook out here. But you write down all those messages, and it should be decoded into a word. So, of course, there we got hello. Now, it's not the fastest system in the world, but it definitely functions. Now, obviously, hello was a fairly small and simple message. You can actually send messages up to 28 characters in length. The only thing that I will say is, is that you're going to have to set aside quite a bit of time to both write and read that message. Now we've got all of the characters in the alphabet and we also have ourselves a space button so that we can hit that button to give spaces between words. It doesn't activate like space mode even though that would be pretty cool. Now the only thing that I will say is, is that of course if you do have repeat characters they will actually stack up inside the shulker box. So every time you hit the button you're going to have to go over to the shulker box and you're going to have to make sure that they haven't stacked up because they need to be independent just like this for the machine to read things properly. So how on earth does this work then? I mean, we've got some reading, we've got some writing, we've got coding, decoding. There's some serious redstone words flying around right here. You would think that this would be a really complicated system, but actually, it's pretty simple. I mean, it's not small by any stretch of the imagination, and it's definitely very expensive. But all we've got is a sorting system, which runs into some RS and all latches. That deals with the reading. And then the writing is about four times as simple, because all we have is a button running into a dropper, and that sends the item out into a hopper string, which takes it over to the shulker box. Now obviously we do have some extra bells and whistles here, so for example, we have this redstone lamp, which lights up when the item has actually reached the shulker box, because if you write the message too fast, then the entire message will get jumbled up, which isn't particularly brilliant, so that's very handy to have. And also we have this little circuit out the back right here, which just activates whenever an item has traveled through the system. So once it is read a letter, it is read one letter, all of this will get powered. That will first off turn off all of the RS NOR latches, so then the RS NOR latch that corresponds to that letter can be turned back on, but also it will run across into here, allowing the next letter to be dropped down into the system. But other than that, it is literally a sorting system and then an item dropper. That's all. Now before I go, I want to say three things. Number one, that explanation was a little bit crazy, so hopefully everything went in, but if it didn't, number two, there is a world download down in the description if you do want to check it out. And number three, do I think this thing is useful? Not particularly. I mean, would I really use it on a server? Probably not. A lot of servers do actually have private messaging inbuilt. So if you wanted to, you could do that. But this was a really, really fun project to work on. And I'm extremely glad with how everything turned out. So if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This is Bumumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later. Thank you.